My name is Nicolas André. I'm a pediatric oncologist working in Marseille, France. So the Global Health, uh, Metronomics Global Health Initiative is something that we launched now four years ago. And the, the idea was that, so we're working on metronomic chemotherapy, and our, our view was that this kind of treatment could be really useful for, for patients with cancer living in low in, in middle income countries. Because, I mean, some of the patients need treatment, need access to treatment. And, and they need treatment that will respect some of the constraints that are specific to a given country. So when you're living in a pong country, you don't have a dedicated infrastructure, so you, you may live far away from a cancer center. You may not have healthcare coverage. Um, you may be poorly nourished, so we, you may not tolerate the treatment as well. So for all these reasons, metronomic chemotherapy seems to fit well. So we set this, uh, this initiative, launched uh, a website to put information in it about clinical trial, about you know, scientific data that would be available. And then we just like start to build a network of clinician, people, institution that would share our view about this, the potential of this treatment. And then we also do some preclinical research. We help setting clinical trial, and we participate to meeting, to, to meetings, organize meetings, just to help you know promoting this approach. And so, well, it's been going on for for four years now. We're moving forward slowly, but we're moving forward. We've been able to generate some knowledge. Uh, we identify new drugs, so we work on metronomic chemotherapy, but also drug repositioning, which is using drugs that were not designed to be anti-cancer agent per se, but that do have anti-cancer properties. And usually these agents are pretty safe, uh, oral, so they're easy to, to administrate. And so, for instance, we worked a lot on propanolol and showed that it could work on some uh, pediatric cancer and some adult cancer. And so now we're moving to the, to the clinical trials. And so we're helping, you know, we help setting clinical trials in Morocco, in Mali, in India, so that's what we do. Well, so there are two, two parts, I guess, here. In, in low and middle income country, for instance, we, have an on, we published two trials uh, about metronomic chemotherapy for children in Mali. And so it was successful because we, uh, we managed to develop a protocol that could be given to patients that would either relapse and we don't have any, any potential treatment otherwise. And also to, to patients that, ha, that, that, that come to the hospital with too advanced disease, so they would not tolerate standard you know, toxic chemotherapy. So we generate these alternatives, uh, and it, it's now used on a daily basis in, in, in the center. So in France, uh, we currently have three metronomic trials going on. One has just stopped. Um, so we we at the stage of validating the activity of soft combination that we that we have uh, uh, thought of, and we are trying to um, demonstrate that new combination are being safe, and these combination are based on pure drug repositioning. For instance, we're having a trial where we try to treat patients with refractory glioma; these are brain tumors with COX inhibitors which are anti-inflammatory drug, and flubastatin, which is the drug that is initially designed to lower cholesterol. And we have another, uh, another trial that should be starting soon that combines metronomic and drug repositioning, and that's propanolol here. So it's, people are getting used to the idea of using metronomic low-dose chemotherapy and drug repositioning to, to treat refractory disease. Well, I think it's, a, it's, it's a, something that is kind of new for these countries, and that's part of the reason we wanted to have this meeting organized in, in, in Mumbai, because uh, there are great physicians here in Mumbai who, who just like understand perfectly how it could help patients to have access to treatment. And, and if key opinion leaders like oncologists at Tata Memorial start embracing the field and they know how to set state-of-the-art trials so they could show the way really to India and then to other low, low and middle income countries. And I do believe that at the end of the day, maybe they will be the one who demonstrate that it works. And then in turn, we in high income countries may use the, the, the new treatment that are not necessarily 
technology advance, but that, that, that are efficient for, for, for the use of our, of our own patient. So that's what they call re reverse innovation, and I think that's something that's going to happen in the coming years. Well, like I said, it's going to go in a different direction because the, the field of cancer is moving toward what we call precision medicine. And that's one of the drawbacks of metronomics. We don't really know how it works and why it works in a given patient. So I guess metronomic is going to be combined with the new, more sophisticated treatment. And it's a good candidate because it has an activity of its own and it's non-toxic, basically. So it can match well with targeted therapy or the new immune checkpoint inhibitors, for instance. Well, I guess the culture is different. Um, the needs are different. The constraints are different. Uh, in terms of uh, access to care and toxicity, health care, payment, um, all the lo legal and ethic procedures. So it's, it's, to some extent, it's some kind of a new world. Like we can talk about science, we can talk a bit about medicine, but I mean, we're not physicians here, so we need people here to just like really work with us. So I guess that's the main, the main challenge, to develop genuine collaboration and win-win collaboration here.